Shaitan is very weak. But we are all, if we open the door, he uses it. He's very weak. He cannot do anything unless you open the door. He's very weak. Even God in Quran, he said, he's very weak. Exactly. Just a whisper, yes. He just tells you what to do, and you enjoy what he tells, then you follow. Because he touches your feeling when he asks you to go wrongly. He brings you kind of enjoyment always. Yeah, so was was and it's easy, you know. If if only see if only one baby crying at home, he will make your life miserable. How if there are many around you and try to just to disturb you and make your uh, line is not clear. Exactly, see, uh, Shaitan knows what we want and he knows w our weakness and he comes also from that door. He always comes from the door, we always keep it open. Exactly. So, if you close that door, he cannot come in. It's your choice. It's your choice to close the door. Shaitan is see uh, what you mean by how you understand Shaitan or how you understand ego monster how you understand how you differentiate those two can you tell me uh Okay, let us make it two things. Shaitan, Shaitan, one thing, and Satan. Correct? Is that correct, Satan? Please? Okay, so these only two. So the rest are belong to Satan. So you have Shaitan and you have Satan. Okay? Sometimes we say on Iblis Shaitan because he is the most representative of Shaitan. But actual Shaitan is not Iblis. Shaitan is bigger than Iblis. And what is Shaitan is? That's the question now. If we know what is Shaitan is, we know how Iblis does was was. So what Shaitan is? Do you have an idea what Shaitan is? In fact, just I give you clue. Shaitan is is the door that please, uh, sorry, that Satan used to come and does was was it. So what Shaitan is? So Satan we know. Uh, no, he. I, I said. Uh, Satan use. Satan use our Shaitan as a door to. To enter. It's, it's, it's not a desire. Maybe our desire could be bad or good. Not absolutely is bad. Uh, maybe your desire to move toward God. That is a good desire. No, you, you cannot say a desire. Let me make it easy. Imagine yourself a piece of paper. A piece of paper. Okay? So, when God created us, He created us from nothing. Not from something. I'm not talking about the body. 
bodies from the earth but I'm talking about our soul our soul and our body is related to our soul so our soul when he subhanahu wa ta'ala created our soul he created it from nothing okay so and he let's let imagine this is I'm, what I'm saying I'm not describing what he does subhanahu because I cannot I'm just giving example or put it in a picture in a scenario that you can understand it okay so let's say he created us from nothing but since he created that thing so he created it from what he created it from his light so from his nur from his light he created that soul and where he put that soul he put that soul in the we call this word if you know al wujud the existence we call this word the existence word alam al wujud he put this soul in this word the existence word and this word since it is without let imagine the space where you put the soul was there in the space nothing nothing there empty okay so when you put the soul there that space beca became or, or sorry become the uh, the volume occupied by the soul is it clear yet or I missed it up Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad ala anna wal mahdina wa sallam tasim. Okay, I will repeat just in case someone didn't get it. Okay, whatever created by God is created by His nur, by His light. Okay? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad ala anna wal mahdina wa sallam tasim. Okay, let's imagine that's what He created. He put it in a place and that place was empty before he puts that thing in so before that soul to come to that place the place was what was nothing empty okay so that place we call it alam al wujud and we call it the existence world empty nothing there if it is empty if it is nothing so what it is light or dark it is dark if it is empty if it is nothing so it is dark but the soul itself is light so that light being put in that darkness okay so uh, this is all example okay so the light is mixed with the darkness okay so if we look at <coughs> our soul it is mixed of the light and the place where it is exist which is the darkness so if we see that if we assume that our self or our soul is a, a piece of paper the upper side is light and the bottom side what it is is nothing dark dark means nothing when we say dark is nothing correct there is no nothing there if there is thing so it should be light correct whatever he creates he creates from his light so since that part is nothing so it is dark okay so those two things are mixed the light let's say the upper part of the paper and the bottom part of the paper okay the bottom part is nothing darkness and the upper part is light and that is where we can understand alhamaha in, in Quran says alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha so the soul itself or nefis has got its power to obey God and has got the, the power to disobey also how the soul does that 
because the light mixed with the darkness the light mixed with the darkness is that clear or still hazy because I know this subject if I tell it in Arabic is difficult while my English is not that uh, doesn't help me much okay anyhow so we say now both mixed the light and the dark mixed and where we now exist we have both mixed and when we look at the paper we see the upper part is white light and the bottom part is dark or nothing okay if if I want to take from God if I want to take from God I take from the upper part of the paper I I presume that the paper itself is my soul and if I want to take from myself not from God from where I take from the darkness from nothing from my missing part correct missing part we say naqus in Arabic when we say no one perfect yeah this is the fact no one perfect because part is light and the other part is missing nothing there so no one is complete light except him subhana he is absolute light so he is complete light he is complete nur but we are mixed both so we have a missing part we have naqus we are not perfect we are not uh, complete light ok so if we want to rely on God we look to the upper side of the paper and we take it from him if we rely on ourselves we took the, the down part of the paper and we take it from the missing part from naqas from nothing from shaitan in fact this is the shaitan so if you imagine the upper part is whiteboard and the bottom part is a blackboard so if I look the upper part I see what God wants me to do on the blackboard but if I, uh, sorry on the whiteboard if I see the bottom part I see what Satan is right on the blackboard so Satan what use 